what is carbon vault? Uh, basically, it is a gauge for human consensus. Uh, it collects information and opinions from the uh, community. For usually for uh, blockchain, by blockchain governance uh, related issues. Uh, we are a decentralized team from the Chinese community. Uh, I am from uh, uh, Stone Ledger, uh, which is a consortium uh, implementation of uh, Ethereum uh, that uh, connects to and com compatible to Chinese uh, uh, legal system. So uh, we have a booth outside. So if you are interested uh, enough uh, to learn more, uh, come to us. Uh, and uh, other teams, member from uh, uh, Constance Labs, uh, Crypt Ape, and uh, ETH fans. So uh, I think we have all our members uh, here today. So uh, guys, if you are here, uh, would you please stand up and say hello to everybody? Uh, Daniel from uh, Consensus Lab did uh, most of the heavy lift. He, uh, he built the website within like uh, three days. So uh, yeah, uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, so at Stone Ledger, uh, at the Carbon Vault, we, we believe in people. We think machine serves human, and uh, carbon over silicon. That's why we are called the Carbon Vault, not the Silicon Vault. Uh, so human comes first, right? We are based uh, we are based on um, we are based on carbon and uh, uh, machines. Computers are based on uh, um, uh, silicons. So uh, our goal is to reach consensus from the uh, from the community in a in a fashion uh, in an efficient way. Uh, so when it comes to consensus, uh, we think there are two layers of it. The underneath layer is the machine consensus, and the upper layer is human consensus. The machine layer refers to um, consensus mechanisms like uh, proof of work and the proof of stake, while your human consensus is more closely related to uh, blockchain governance and uh, often it comes with uh, soft forks and uh, hard forks. We firmly believe that machine consensus is just a tool for human consensus. Its main purpose is to facilitate for the human consensus. So that's what we did. So what we did with the carbon vault, uh, I guess uh, many of you have seen this uh, uh, photo here. During the debate of the door hard, hard, uh, hard fork, uh, we did a poll from a community to uh, measure whether the community wants to want a hard fork or not. So basically, uh, there are two addresses. One is a yes address, and the other is no address. If you want to vote for yes, you simply send a zero Ether transaction to the yes address, and all your Ether in your local account would be casted to the yes voting. By doing so, we lowered both technical barrier and the mental barrier, because here you you do not need to send the ethers out, and your ether is not locked locked in any means. So in the end, we got about five five percent of total ether voted, and. Uh, 
87% uh, of them voted for yes. So what we learned? We found that consensus enforcement is very hard. In the real world, decisions are enforced by violence. While in our world, crypto world, everybody is free to choose on what blockchain to live on, right? I do believe we have a better world, but we got to split with the coexistence uh, of uh, ETC, right? Uh, the split is in terms of price, talents, and uh, resources. Uh, if you look at the price of ETC, it's, uh, has, it has been hovering around 10 to, you know, 10 to 20 percent of uh, uh, ETH. And it's, it's uh, pretty consistent with the, with the voting results. About future plans. Uh, we think there are something uh, suitable to vote and uh, the other are not. Community-wise, uh, staking effect issues are probably worth uh, voting. Uh, yes or no to controversial uh, hard forks and soft forks and uh, fundamental overhauls like uh, uh, POS and other wild uh, wider effect issues, like uh, uh, whether or not to charge a rent for, for a smart contract instead of uh, uh, charge for a big chunk of a fee in the beginning and uh, uh, let the smart contract live forever. And uh, there are some things that uh, we, we think are not suitable to, for, for voting. Uh, something too technical and uh, uh, something non, not essential enough to, you know, to worth our time. So to wrap up, blockchain governance is really hard. And the voting results are not likely enforceable even with the supermajority support. So in that sense, deal with caution. And uh, uh, that's all I want to say. And uh, uh, I, look forward, I will look forward to seeing you on blockchain and uh, uh, may carbon vote make your voice heard. Thank you. Thank you.